It's the first fresh snow in a week, and Vail employee passes are blacked out. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. First, we got fresh snow for the first time in a long time, and locals were skipping the lift lines for a pre-dawn skin up Peak 9 at Breckenridge. Bob from Breck. It was a great skin this morning. It was a great way to start the day. We had a couple inches, which we really needed, and uh, yeah, it's like to be out here. Making the trip with Bob was Kyle who says inbounds uphill travel is the best way to scratch that backcountry itch right now. Don't get too intimidated by all the gear and all the hills. You can always go as far as you can go, but then uh, just get out. That's the most important thing. Uphill access is open daily at Breckenridge and Arapahoe Basin. You'll need a free uphill pass for the basin. Uphill access remains closed everywhere else, including Keystone and Vail, where employee passes are blacked out this weekend. Vail Resorts confirms all employees at Colorado Resorts cannot ski or ride this weekend on their free time. It's a side effect of COVID capacity limits. Employees were promised unlimited access this season, even when reservations are full, but this is a rare example of when Vail will break that promise. Vail Resorts lost nearly $154 million in the first quarter of fiscal year 2021. The Vail Daily reports that's a 44% loss from last year, from August through November. Epic Pass sales are up 20%, but pass revenue is flat thanks to skiers cashing in pass vouchers from spring shutdown. Lou C.K. with Breckenridge Tourism Office says the future is bright six months from now. We know people are not traveling now, especially in the last three weeks. There have been a lot of cancellations, continue to be cancellations. But as more people are postponing their travel, we're seeing more people showing an interest in researching travel that they're going to do six months from now. It's not quite the death of winter tourism, just another painful blow. Ski is a different animal. We know skiers are loyal. We know there's a bunch of season pass holders out there. Skiers and snowboarders are going to come this winter. BTO is looking more at next summer, and we really think it's going to be July, August um, before things start to feel like what we're accustomed to here. The BTO is not actively marketing to tourists right now. That will ramp back up when COVID capacity limits change. Summit County Health confirms the biggest outbreak of COVID-19 in two months, 16 employees at Breckenridge Grand Vacations. This outbreak is limited to the sales team, most likely spread in a break room and in in-person meetings of more than 20. This is the largest local outbreak since 22 Summit High School students in mid-October. We're wrapping up our week-long budget review series with tax measures and impacts from COVID. County Manager Scott Vargo. Of course, we weren't preparing for a pandemic to this degree, but at least to, to be prepared for when there is some sort of economic downturn. And many counties just simply are not in that position, and, and they are far more devastated as a result of this kind of situation. Measure 5A, a sales tax for workforce housing, took a big hit April through June. Some of those sales tax revenues are starting to bounce back. And so I don't think that it's going to be any sort of uh, devastating impact to the housing fund. Strong Futures, a property tax for public programs like mental health and child care, is doing just fine. But it is not because the housing market is soaring. It would have been affected had those Gallagher questions not been passed. And so at this point, very stable there. He's referring to the Gallagher Amendment, which limited government funding through a property tax ratio repealed by voters in November. In sports, World Cup ski racers are in France this weekend. Downhill and Super G for men, giant slalom for ladies. 12 Americans will make the start, including Michaela Schifrin. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, ski reservations at Breckenridge and Keystone are full this weekend, same as parking reservations at Copper. Icon passes might be severely limited at A Basin. Loveland has no reservations. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.